Hello friends, welcome. Uh, here we are in the front end and uh, we are in the home page and we see the username and the user email. So we are logged in, but we see in the navigation also we have the login and register. And now in this video, I'm going to remove or show the login and register if the user is not authenticated. And if the user is authenticated, I'm going to add the button to log out. Okay, so first I'm going to open the backend project and let's go inside the routes auth.php and as you can see here we have the logout route, a post method and we have the authenticated session controller and the method is destroy. So if I click here, uh, we have the destroy method which is going to log out and invalidate the session and regenerate the token and return response no content. So we need to make a post request to the slash logout to log out the user. Okay. So now I'm going to open the front end here. So the view please API and let's go inside the components nav.view here we have the register and uh, let's close this like this and also the login like this and what I'm going to do I'm going to first import the store the auth store we have here and check if the user is there uh, display the logout if it's not display the login and register so let's go up here in the script setup and I'm going to say first let's import that store import use auth store from go up one level and inside the stores we have the auth store and let's create a constant for that auth store is going to be equal with the use and we need to say here use like this use auth store okay and then down there we check for the getter we have here if the users because this getter is going to return the auth user and if it null we don't have if we have we are going to have the data so let's scroll down when we have the links and uh, I'm going to cut this two and uh, say template and add v if a condition here and if we don't have the auth store dot user if we don't have that display the login and register else so let's say here a template and say v else v else let's add the button to log out and uh, i'm going to import this class i'm going to copy this class we have here and let's say inside here add a button or a yeah a button i'm going to say and let's paste that class and let's say log out just to see now how it's going to look in the browser yeah we have the log out here now if i click not right now nothing happened so let's make the logic here what i'm going to do i'm going to go inside the auth.js because here is going to be all the logic and in the actions we have the get token get user handle login handle register let's create one more for the handle logout so create an async 
handle logout and we don't need data here just we need to say to send a post request so let's say axios dot post and the url is a slash logout like this and after that let's say this dot uh, out user reassigned back to null okay so we have the user here and we are reassigned to null and now in the navigation when you have this button i'm going to say on click of this button i'm going to call this uh, method so the handle logout let's copy this come here and uh, say out store so the object we created dot handle logout like this click save and let's see now in the action let's refresh let's inspect the element go to the console clear this and say logout and yeah we redirected back we are not logged in anymore and let's go and log in again uh, as a test user example dot com and uh, have the password and let's say login and yeah we have now the home and the logout everything works correctly okay friends so now we have the login register and logout in our project the last thing is the work with the forgot password so see you in the next video all the best